Hello everyone. This is David at Grow and Eat This. February 13th. It's warm but pouring down rain. It's been raining for days. Tomorrow it's going to be clear down in the 30s. Not exactly time to be doing things outside. So I'm going to be starting seeds. I got some, some gee I hope I get lucky time to start seeds. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do some of them. Some of these I haven't had before so I'm, I really don't know how well the germination will be. And when I'm not sure on germination and when I'm tight on space, I like to start the seeds, particularly if they're large ones, on some damp paper towels. I know, people say, gee, what a wussy way to do things. But let me show you how easy it is. I cut a, a um, half sheet paper towel into thirds, fold it in half. Make it damp. These are a Jolly Hybrid inch and a half ounce pink fruit delicious juicy and sweet boy I tell you anything that says a tomato tastes good in February you're sold you know you are definitely a sucker for it these are green seeds so I'm guessing they're treated don't really know why they would be but I'm gonna put four seeds on this damp paper towel. Okay, I'm going to take a Ziploc plastic sandwich bag, take my label, tomato, jolly hybrid, slide that in, slide this in, as you can see there it is. Now, when they grow roots, I don't want the roots going into the paper towel, so they're going to be stored upside down. Paper towel on top, roots down, uh, seed down, so the roots don't go directly into the paper towel. Next, who's next, who's next? Mountain Merit. I grew Mountain Merits last year. They, the advertisement is there look at VFFFN resistance to early blight supposed to be this super duper tomato I gotta tell you I think it went down first last year uh, I made brand new beds brand new bag soil never seen a tomato in an area that never had tomatoes no excuse for it to have any kind of blight and guess what down they went So they get a second year try. And frankly, if they don't do it this year, that'll be the end of the mountain merits, at least for me. I'm northeast of Atlanta, zone seven. The uh, last few years, the scary part about us is that the beginning of the year has been unbelievably wet. And then like just the spigot turns off, it turns to be high 90s, and we don't see rain again for months. So the gardening is tough. The early stuff gets nailed with the funguses from all the rain. The late season stuff gets nailed by having no water and incredible heat. So there's my four seeds of Mountain Merit. While I make it sound like that's the dismal gardening conditions, we did fill the freezer with peppers, tomatoes, beans, uh, bok choy, squash, all kinds of squash. Had a great garden. It just isn't always what you want it to be. You never know who's going to be doing really well. Celebrity, unbelievably popular tomato. This particular variety has even more alphabet letters. We'll see how it does. Once again, I'm chasing four seeds, so if I get a total failure, I still have plenty of seeds left in the bag to start again. Same, same plan, put the label in. Put the damp paper towel in, 
upside down so the seeds are facing up. Seal it up. And I just love the space requirements for these things because this is going to be busy at least sprouting the seeds goes like this. Now I will also use a little soil blocker gives me a little half inch squares. Great way to start seeds. So let's see who else I've got. I've got some peppers, little Italian sweet peppers, eight inches long. Kind of a bell pepper that gets really long. Another one, a red sweetie. That's the little peppers that you buy in the bags right now. Uh, another big giant preserving pepper. So I'm going to work on the peppers and then we'll be back. wanted to come back and show you one of the little fun things you can do don't know if you get anything out of it or whatever but it's a fun thing at the cat farmers market we got some of these giant bell peppers I mean they were like huge things very very thick walled uh, they weren't the tastiest things in the world but they were gigantic uh, and I decided to save some seeds why not so I saved some seeds out of one back on January 27th. I uh, kept them in water, let them ferment for a couple of days, then I cleaned to clean them up. And now, let's see what happens. You know, I'm going to go five seeds because that's how many shook out. But amazingly, who knows? You know, if they sprout, so it cost me a pot to find out what they are. It'd be amazing if they actually made these giant peppers. Uh, and we'll see how they do in the garden. So, that's the start on those. This is a good way of doing them like this when you're trying things out that are your own seeds like I collected calendula seeds from the front yard off some beautiful calendulas I let them get what looked to me like fully ripe and then picked, picked a bunch dried them so why not see how they do I know I've done um, echinaceas that way. They came up and they were gorgeous. So we're going to wet some of these down. I'm probably going to wet more of these down than normal. Because they're really kind of strange looking seeds. misshapen gnarly looking little things and I have no idea of how to tell what's good or what isn't so we're gonna wet them down. Oop. I don't know if that's a seed or we're gonna wet them down and it lets you do a test sprout to find out if you've actually got anything worth messing with I hate to use up a big old six-pack pot thing to discover that the seeds aren't any good or worse, sometimes I've been known to, I didn't actually collect viable seeds. So we'll do those in. So this is about 10 different things all started in this little container. And I'll set them up here. This is a thermostat control heat mat. Keep the temperature going. And we'll get them warm and see what we get to sprout. So this has only been about an hour or so, but this has been a lot of fun. If you like these videos, please subscribe. And there's a little bell thing that will tell you when I put new ones up. Hopefully I'm going to be able to put a lot up here because it's time to be getting the spring indoor and outdoor garden started. Thank you for watching. This is David at Grow and Eat This.